another Cosmic Rust desktop update video from System76. We have some updates for February. Yes, they're back with a few new things to see. The Bluetooth applet gets added into the Cosmic Desktop environment. And the main thing they've been working on is the Cosmic Desktop environment's text editor application. They're giving us the best of Vim and VS Code, although this is an initial development. We're going to check this out from source. I have it compiled on my Pop! OS desktop running right now. Last time I showed you some of the design for the Cosmic applets. Check that video out in the description below because I'm not going to be going over those applets again today, but it's definitely worth checking out if you want to see what Cosmic is going to be designed like, what the look and feel is around almost all the settings pages. But anyways, let's take a sneak peek here. We do have two pictures from the people at System76 giving us a preview here of what the text editor will look like. So we can see here we have multiple tabs open. So we have tabbing support in this new editor. It follows the theme very closely. It's clearly on the dark theme at the moment. And on the left hand side, we have this hierarchy of a project folder. Seems like more projects underneath the main project. Third one and some notes. I really do like this breakdown. And we notice here it has a circle for anything that hasn't been saved. I like the fact that they put this over in the left hand tree as well as the top tabs. You'll notice there's circles just about everywhere. I also enjoy the split view here. We have window one and window two of this split view for two different text documents that they've created. This comes in handy, especially when you're scanning through and trying to find differences between two files. Overall, it looks fairly simple. I'll be excited to see some of the syntax highlighting support whenever the text editor actually comes out, but I think they're doing a great job of blending Visual Studio Code and Vim together to give us a wonderful text editor. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below, but let's move on to the second picture before we compile things for ourselves. Make sure you smash that like button because I did spend a lot of time trying to get things compiled for you. And on this one, we see that the project viewer slash tree is gone on the left hand side. They've removed it from this one. So now we see what things look like as just a plain text editor, nothing project based. I think it looks wonderful. Very simplistic, kind of reminds me of Sublime. For those of you who've used it, let me know in the comments section if you've used Sublime, but they have some syntax highlighting already built in. Notice that what seems to be some comments here are in this orange color. We have multiple things opened up, a new document, a readme file, and a license. Up top, you don't have many options, but you have file, edit, view, and help. And I'm probably wrong about this. This is some sort of an addition for a screenshot into this document because it's a readme file. That makes sense. It's just some syntax highlighting, but a comment here is screenshots in blue. Again, it looks pretty good. Up in the right corner, I did notice something. We have an orange button still instead of blue to follow the theme. Of course, this is all work in progress. So just something I noticed that they'll be able to fix in the future. One other thing I want to show before we get to the actual source build is the amount of projects that System76 has and the amount of work they've been putting in just trying to get things done. As you notice here, we have all of their repositories directly available online. I'll put a link in the description below for this as well because it's quite fascinating to see all the development that's being done across their Linux platform with over 267 repositories available. One thing I love about Pop is that they are showing you in real time how they're developing with the public repo of their system. Not only do they dive deep into developing their own apps and specifically trying to put Rust into Linux, but they also have hardware. For those of you that don't know, you can check at system76.com. And then they really push the boundaries here with their new software. I'm super excited to see how the new Rust Cosmic Desktop ends up on Pop! OS. And with that being said, let's take a look at some of the code built directly from source on Pop! OS. But before we get there, check out Delva.ai. Not sure how to start using AI for your business? Don't let your company fall behind. Start building an AI strategy today with Delva's AI Consulting. Schedule some time with Delva's AI Consultants and start integrating AI into your business. Again, check it out at Delva.ai. There's a link in the description below. Okay, here I've first ran some examples, and some of this is going to be a little bit of guesswork on what they're actually trying to accomplish. But I ran a terminal example, which shows a rendering of a picture inside the terminal directly from their Cosmic Text app. 
I think the Cosmic Text app is actually part of the text editor. I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's just them experimenting with various different types of image and language support inside for their text editor. So for example, we can run the editor test and we'll notice a whole bunch of lines scroll through. And then after we pass a test for various different fonts, we exit out. Not really great for us to use, but if we do the rich text, we'll see again, another window with some of the rich text features that Pop! OS seems to be able to support. Moving on from these tests, just going to use the test sh version, which completes every single test right off the bat, as long as they're built. And back to this one, we can actually use this text editor a little bit. Very fluid, very clean. But again, I don't think this is the official text editor. This is just something that they're showing text inside for testing purposes. Now we're going over to the text editor and I do have this built for release so we can try it out real quick. Let's just check out the cosmic text editor. This is what they were displaying inside of that blog post that we went through and we can start typing in here and even saving this file, but none of the shortcuts currently work. So no shortcut support. As you can tell, it's very primitive at the moment. If you hit any of these drop downs, you'll get a to do and the to do does of course nothing just exits out of the menu, but you do have an open and save. So you can open a project and you can save a file. So if I wanted to save this file in the release folder, let's just give it a shot. I'm going to call it savvy Nick and just press enter for save. It looks like it's saved correctly, but we're going to tell by actually going to that directory real quick. And if I go into the cosmic text editor, the file should be there somewhere. And sure enough, the file savvy Nick is here. If I do Vim just to check and see if the formatting is correct. Sure enough, formatting is correct. So it can officially save again, no shortcut support here in the text editor. I cannot get the project browser to show up like they did in the example because you can't really open up folders. You have to open up a very specific file, which is fine. Still not running, but let's actually open up a source file so we can kind of see what syntax highlighting looks like. Here's their main RS file for the text editor. Quite a few lines of code in here, but they have a real subtle syntax highlighting in here and you can actually make edits. Now I do notice that things are a little bit slow. That's just because it's not optimized for the release build. But right now I'm messing up their code and putting in some information of mine. And that's kind of what that looks like. You also notice there's tabs now on top. You can't move the tabs around or anything like that. You can't even really close out the tab at the moment. You can only open and save, but you get a good look and feel for what things are going to start looking like as you're setting stuff up. There's no scroll on the right hand side and the top window seems to be kind of messed up because it really doesn't match the theme, which I believe in the previous thing that we looked at, the theme actually matched pretty well. So clearly the developers are working really hard to get us a wonderful cosmic rust desktop experience. I'm really excited about this text editor. It looks very fluid. I do like their design so far, and it's only going to be improving over the weeks. What another wonderful update from system 76. I'm glad that they've started posting almost monthly about the latest and greatest in the rust desktop environment. I'm looking forward to testing and building more things as they come out. Again, if you haven't already watch my other video about the settings and what those look like, so you can get a real good look and feel for the system. I'll post the link in the description below to that video. If you're here for Linux, you're in the right spot, tons of tips and tricks and kernel updates. So make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Catch me in a great community on discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.